So now we created the section under content. See, we're not touching anything, just the content. We created the section, and we created categories under sections, and then we created articles, articles under categories. So far so good? Section, category, article. Section, category, article. She might start making you chant, so just make sure you all understand this. You're, you're good section. I think it's just easier for me to think about it that the categories kind of match the menu items. You can think about it that way, but they don't have to. Yeah. And sometimes I do, I do create categories that match menu items. I've got five and three of which are oh. Yeah, it, it's perfectly fine to use the same names, but just keep in mind that there's no actual direct link between them. Okay, that's, that's what you need to know is that menu items are not going to change based on what you do in your category manager or your section manager. Nothing's going to change. You can have the same names if you want, but there's no direct link between them. And the reason we're saying so, we don't want you to think that once you created your category, your menus are automatically created. Right. That's not no. the case, right? Yeah. So while well, they can't have the same names, while they can be linked to each other, mm -hmm. they are concepts of their own. Okay. Because this is purely for your text uh, content, for your article's content. You can have a calendar which will not be assigned to any of these categories, and a calendar will be linked to the menu. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Menu items can be linked to a lot of things. They can be linked to articles. They can be linked to all the, all the articles inside of a category, which is where you see kind of a loose correlation that you've kind of created on your own. They can be linked to a calendar. They can be linked to a photo gallery. They can be linked to a forum. Menu items can link to lots of different things. All we're talking about in categories is just some articles. So just there's no direct connection between them, and unless you actually make it by saying, hey, I want this menu link to show everything in this category. Is everyone clear that there's no connection between menus and sections and categories? Does anyone have any questions about how this works? Because it, it can be very confusing. A category doesn't actually, um, like when you are in the place where you create the category, mm -hmm. you wouldn't actually write text there, right? I mean, the category essentially is where you, it's an organizing tool for all your articles? Yeah, it, it's, you don't, there, is a, there is a description box, um, and there's times when you would use that, but usually no. Usually you would just give it a title and put it in a section and save it. So really what you do is like you really want to create all your little articles and then arrange them in mm -hmm. categories that make sense so that they're just not so involved with a million of them? Yes. I mean, there's, there's several reasons why I use categories and sections. And one of them is so it's easy to find things when you've got a lot of articles because you can filter by category in the article manager. Another reason is sometimes you want to display, like I said, a menu item that shows all of the articles in one category or, or all the articles in one section. Because that's a menu, one of the options for menu items is you can do a category log layout. And that's the only correlation you can create between them. Is you can say, hey, I want this menu item to show, pull everything from this category. So that's another reason to do it that way. And it's just like, it's good housekeeping in general. Because if you start just having zillions of articles uncategorized all over the place, it's just going to be a mess for you. In the simplest world, with a site with five pages, you can have one section and one category. Mm -hmm. If you're creating a site with five pages, all you need to worry about is one section and one category. If you have a site that will have, like in this case, gazillions of stove types, not just stoves, of stove types, they may want to have a category A, category B, and so on and so forth. So if you have a site, and a gentleman with financial services, you are fine with creating just one category in one section. I know I helped you create categories for each of the services. Uh, but generally, you could do with just one, okay? Does that, is that there? Are we there yet? Okay. And if you are a bit above the simplest side you could think of, then categories will help you display your articles in various ways. Like the category blog layout, which is a menu type that you can choose. Just like you can choose a calendar or a photo gallery, you can also choose to show all the articles in a category. You know, like as a list or as like a blog layout with you know two articles up here and two articles down there, just like we saw on the front page. So think of the categories are a tool that you can use, and and they can be useful. But like she said, you can have just one category on a simple website, and it's perfectly fine. You can always create more later. This is very flexible. 
I mean, you don't have to decide right now how many categories you want. Okay? So just everyone remain calm at all times. Like this is all extremely non-committal. You know, there's no marriage taking place here. Okay? So um, anyone not with us? The logic to me of having your categories match up with your uh, menu seems to be okay, straight so ahead to me. That's you know, fine. It just, we're it, we're it leaving just, it there. It we're, just, fine. We're, fine. We're, fine. we're fine. We're fine. If that works, we're fine for now. Why not? I, I promise by the end of the well, day it will make a bit more sense yeah, okay. because you will know why that is not purely the same. But for okay. starters, okay. you can't think of your menu, of your category as a menu. It's fine for the reason, um, and I have to say this, the reason um, this is always not going to correlate like that always, let's, let's, let's say you have an option to go to a calendar as one of your menu items. That's never going to appear under category because it's not an article. Right. Does that make sense? But, but it doesn't defeat the opportunity to have that sorting. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. You, you, I mean, I often set up categories and menus that match, but you just need to know that you're doing it manually and there's no automatic relationship between them. Okay. Okay. So. Um, Okay, so we have under, we're still looking at content. We haven't gotten into anything else, no templates, no modules, nothing else. We're still in content. We go to Content Front Page Manager. That shows us everything that is published on the front page. We can change the order by using these little arrows or by changing the numbers, which is more useful when you have a bunch. You can just change one number and see what happens. And you just click on Save, that little Save icon. And that's going to move that new article up to number four. And now there's two number fours. Don't worry about that. Don't expect logic in this. You just want to move things around until they're the way you want them to be. If you put something at a higher number, it's going to be down lower. Something at a lower number is going to be higher. It's pretty simple. Okay. So in that's the simplest world, which in most of your cases, you will have one article on, on the front page. Probably will be your current service or something like that. Um, or in the case of catering services, what time you're open. So it will be just one article. Does that make sense? Hmm. How do you get another article up there? Because uh, I only have one now. I thought I had like five. Well, that's a good question. So when you click on these, by the way, the access level, it will change the access level. So if something changes, that's why, because you clicked on it. Um, so if you, if you want to have more than one article on your front page, so go to your article manager, content article manager, and choose another article. Do you have more than one article in your article manager? OK, so the easiest way to do it is in that column that says front page, click on that red circle, and it'll turn green. Now go to the front page, front end, and see if that works. OK. OK, so, so far what we reviewed is content. We talked about section, category, and articles and how the front page is managed like this. We also are going to take a slight detour now to, uh, to managing the front page in a little more detail. And this is where some people got confused. Okay? So this is because Joomla put it in a really stupid place. Okay? This is a stupid place to put the front page parameters, but this is where it is, and you just kind of memorize it. Is when you want to change the front page layout, you go to menus, whatever your main menu is, wherever you have your home page here, and you click on Home. Okay? And this is where the options are to change how things look basically on the home page. How many columns there are. How many go all the way across. That's what leading means. How many are you going to show the introductory text? Whether you're going to have any that just display as links on the bottom, which I do not usually do. Okay? This is where it's at. This also lets you choose the, the order. If you want to do it by a different order than what we saw, one, two, three. But don't worry about that. This lets you choose what, what's going to show. Same like parameters. Like I said, the, the front page parameters are different. And here they are. OK? So you can play with this, explore it. But the main thing to know is where they are, where you can access this. And you access this by going to your home page menu item. OK? Is there a default? You know, you make a lot of changes and then you don't like what you've done. Can you go back? Is there a default no. where it brings you back? No. So you really have to oh. make sure you do that. I mean, and there are ways to back up your website and stuff like that. But yes, everything you do is pretty much live and irreversible. So if you screw things up, you screw things up. Okay. And it happens. <laughs> we know. We know. <laughs> yes? The and the main menu are the one of the same. The, the, the main menu, in this case, is where the home page is. The home page menu item. The home page is a menu item. And that is where your front page parameters are hiding. That's where they hide. 
and it just has to do with Joomla and the way Joomla is set up. Hopefully it won't be like that in the future, but it's just something you just need to know. It's not like you're going to change that all the time. You know, maybe a little bit in the beginning you want to play with how many columns you want or something, but after that you're pretty much set, never have to worry about it again. Okay.